The pull-down assay is an example of an affinity purification technique that tests for protein-protein interactions within a complex system in vitro. So where exactly do these proteins come from? This question can be answered by the fundamental idea of the central dogma, where DNA is transcribed into RNA and RNA is translated into proteins. Within its specific sequence, DNA contains the information needed to make the body's proteins. However, this information must first be transcribed into RNA, which is read like a code, and translated into the functional product, proteins. As stated, this assay utilizes the concept of protein-protein interactions because proteins are known to rarely act alone. Instead, they function as complexes that are built from a large number of protein components. This comprises of only those interactions which are highly stable, like electronic transfer, signal transduction, and cell metabolism, and excludes any that are transient, like touching of ribosomes, chaperones, and degradation machinery. Affinity purification is a general technique for the isolation of your protein or proteins of interest from a complex biological sample. This is based on those strong and stable interactions described previously. Think of it like a key fitting into its lock or prey attracted to a piece of bait. To explain the pull-down technique, we'll continue using the bait and prey model compared to the antigen-antibody interaction and co-immunoprecipitation. The bait protein in green, which would be your protein of interest, is bound to a solid resin, allowing it to be precipitated out of solution. In this example, we will be using a histidine tacked bait protein bound to a nickel resin. The cell lysate containing the prey protein, which may or may not interact with your bait protein of interest, is co-incubated with the resin to allow for binding. Any unbound proteins are washed away. Now, the protein-protein interaction complex made of your green bait and red prey proteins is eluted from the solution. The method of protein elution can range from using analytes that compete with your bait for histidine binding to lowering the pH or using reducing buffers. The identity of the prey protein can then be determined by mass spectrometry a powerful analytical technique that ionizes biological and chemical species and sorts these ions based on their mass to charge ratio, which in turn can give you identifiable information about the proteins in your sample. The pull-down assay is useful for both confirming the existence of a predicted protein-protein interaction or as an initial screen to identify unknown interactions. This technique has been used to map protein-protein interactions within multiple species, and results can be easily validated using similar molecular biology techniques such as co-immunoprecipitation or yeast-2 hybrid. Thanks for watching.